This is a video to show you what to expect during starting up your system and cycling it. You'll need to test the water quality just to be able to observe what's happening. That means sampling the water, preferably at the same place every time you take a sample. Again, here are the test kit solutions, and like it says on the label, for this one, pH test solution, add three drops. The four vials, you fill them up to the white line, you add the correct number of drops, and you get a different color. Then you review the chart and match the color in the vial to the color on the chart. So this says that right now our pH is 6.4. That's basically because I just adjusted the pH down and the system hasn't fully mixed. So after it mixes, the pH is going to be more like around 6.8 to 7.0. The ammonia shows a deep uh, green, deep blue green, which means that we have very high ammonia concentration and we did that artificially rather than with the fish. If you had this high of an ammonia concentration, your fish would all be dead. The nitrite test is this third vial, and you can see hopefully in the video that it's kind of a lilac color, which is this color here at 0 0.25 parts per million. It's different from the light blue and it's also different from the more purplish or violet colors that it will attain a little bit later on as the nitrite levels start to jump up. And the nitrate levels are essentially zero parts per million yellow. They're not orange for sure, but having done the test a number of times it appears that there's a slight hint that that color of yellow is slightly in the direction of orange from what it normally is. So there might be a little bit of nitrate producing microbes in the system. So this is basically where you are at after adding some ammonia to the system. Um, and you won't get here if you start off with the fish because your fish would be dead from that much ammonia. So you would if you were adding fish, you'd keep the ammonia levels down to like 0.5 parts per million max. But by boosting the ammonia, I've thrown a whole bunch of food in for the ammonia consuming microbes. And that will allow them to multiply faster. So they are going to be multiplying now and consuming the nitrite. Or excuse me, consuming the ammonia and producing nitrite, and that's going to drive this level up as time goes on. So as we move forward in time, the ammonia level will come down and the nitrate, nitrite level will come up. And then as that comes up, it makes more food for the second colony of bacteria that consume nitrites and produce nitrates. So when they begin to arise, the nitrite levels will go down and the nitrate levels will come up. And then the plants are going to consume the nitrates, so the plant growth pulls the nitrates down. And then at that point, what you're doing is the fish are putting more ammonia into the system, but there are so many microbes that transform it, the level always stays at zero. And there's so many microbes that consume the nitrites that after the system's fully cycled, the nitrite levels also will stay at zero and you will keep the nitrate levels elevated so that there's plant food. So as you steer your system, so to speak, you're going to want to keep your nitrate levels in the 40 to 80 parts per million range, but your plants are going to grow whether you have 5 or 10 or 20 or up to 80 or maybe 100 max. And um, you're not going to kill the plants to go above that, but um, you're just better off. The sweet spot is in the 40 to 80 parts per million kind of a range. So those are the water tests. At this point in the cycling, we are after spiking the ammonia and before the nitrate trite spike. 
But let me show you some of the plant growth. So here's a plant growing. You can also already see a nice root structure developing on those. And you can see the same thing on some of these smaller plants, although they are smaller and younger and their roots are commensurately smaller as well. I'm not quite sure which ones have some roots to show you, but you can see that there's a little bit of growth popping out. And let's see. Uh, this is a little bit larger plant, so it probably is doing something a little more. Yep. There you go. Now, the same thing is happening for the plants over here in the gravel table, except I'm not going to pull those out. But they are shooting roots down into the gravel media. These were pulled in from the garden, and their roots were washed off just as a little test. And here are some little fava beans that were tossed in as seeds and they sprouted about a week ago. So that's the system and how everything's going. And that is the test showing you how the, nit the ammonia having been spiked gets the nitrite forming uh, microbe colony into your system.